Happy Wednesday morning to you all. Welcome back to Mercury Farm. I am Farmer Min. It is approaching 2 o'clock in the afternoon here, this fine and outstanding day. Uh, we got some changes that have to be discussed. But other than that, uh, things are going pretty good. We got 19510 bucks in the bank. We got a lot of field work done. I tell you what, in the last hour or two, we have been productive. We have got one messy John Deere tractor, one dirty John Deere tractor. That is for sure. There it is. Um, let's see. We have made some changes here on the farm, and I'll kind of go over them right now. The styre, the gutless styre that we had has been now replaced by the K, oh, the, oh, the International, I'm sorry. The International, we went with the, um, oh, crap. I can't, I can't remember, Four, not 1455, it was the, um, yeah, 1455, is that right? 1455 um, International, yeah, 1455, I was thinking that there was a different number, but no, 1455 International, so we have that tractor that has replaced the Steyr. The other thing that I did, I got rid of the... Um, I wonder if my rifle would reach him. Um, we got rid of the uh, truck and the flatbed trailer. I figured I really didn't need them anymore. And uh, that income could help a little bit. So I got rid of the truck and the trailer. The uh, the gauze truck. No, yeah, the gauze truck and the uh, big Tex trailer. I got rid of them. And we got the tractor, got rid of the tractor. Okay, so that's that. The other thing that we did is we did a little landscaping. And now this is kind of like a little bonus feature, you know? I was thinking about it. Uh, one of the, my favorite things about FS19 is the landscaping and creating your own farm. So I did some landscaping, of course. Yeah, we spent millions and millions of dollars on it, even though I don't have millions and millions of dollars. But I did spend uh, 12000 and we put in a chicken coop right down here. Come down off the farm. There's the main road down to the highway there. You saw that. And you come down off here and a little level here with a chicken coop i kind of like it i'm not you know what hey we got chicken coops let's just do it let's just have them it's something to do it's something to keep us um keep us occupied so we got chickens there and then um right down here coming into these fields that we purchased right at the end of the last episode um kind of have a little extra little terrace here where this this little garage is so inexpensive that i put one of those in because i think we're a little bit short on storage so we got that here so that's another little garage for us that is here. Um, all the plowing and lime spreading has been done. And as you can see, it looks a little different down here now. I kind of like it. It adds a little character to the farm right across from the dealership. So that field and this field has been joined together, and they have been lime spread and plowed. So we have that. The other two fields I joined together together and they are one the reason i kept these four fields that well they were four fields right yeah separate into two fields is because we only have um well we have the two on the other side of the road plus these two so we have four fields if i would combine these two that would be three fields and i think we need a little bit more variety of crops to be honest with you so we're gonna have four fields to start off the first planting season and then we can go from there but here is um this field here yeah it's it's smaller i mean it's not going to be huge but um we can at least get going so i think the priorities lie with uh, growing some crops for the horses and the uh, chickens and get some stuff planted that's kind of the uh what's on the agenda for today i would think um man you know what i wish i had more money i, I you know what you think about all these things you want to do and you say i wish i had more money because the dealership's got a dandy dandy of a used john deere combine down there maybe we'll go hey bird how you doing hey just oh careful you kind of scooped into the ground there uh watch yourself anyways they have a dandy of a used john deere combine that i really really want so i want that and they have a little backpack sprayer too that i thought was kind of nice i want that too but anyways those were the changes on the farm to get you updated let's get um let's get busy so chickens we need um wheat and or barley right chicken we need wheat and or barley um and the horses of course we're going to need um oats and straw and hay oats straw and hay so um i suppose we could probably plant with the uh, john deere tractor and uh i suppose 
We should probably invest in a power washer, too, for crying out loud. Look at how dirty this thing is. Uh, my goodness, this thing is absolutely filthy. Whoa, let's go this way. Uh, so let's hook up to the Agramont Cedar, and uh, we can start on that process there. I think, um, what's going to be the most oats, probably? Should we put oats into the big field, and then we can uh, go from there? Oops, where am I at? Here's the door. Um, got the Agromod Cedar in here and the uh, spreader there. So we'll start off with that. I think oats in the big field. Oats in the big field would make sense, wouldn't it? Because um, oats, then it would also give us the straw. Hay is going to be the one thing that we're going to have to get figured out. Uh, we don't have any grass fields. Um, unless I planted grass, but I don't really know if I want to do that either. Um, let's see. Let's first of all, let's fill this thing up here. Um, I think that one's fertilizer, isn't it? Boy, I didn't really, when I put these things in here, I really didn't think about how difficult it would be to, to get in here. Man, this tractor is just absolutely filthy. Absolutely filthy. What? Okay. Don't be a pain. Is that one seed? That one must be seed then. It's not clicking on here. There we go. Okay. We get that full of seed. So, if we take an aerial view of our um, of our farm here real quick, you can see... Um, whoops, no. Let's go into there. So, we have this one, this one, this one, this one. We have four fields. Um, if we did oats in here... Then we would need um, a wheat or barley. Oh, we don't have any animals, so I can't look that up. Oops, go back. Go back, man. Yeah, oats here. Do a wheat and or barley. And then the other two fields, we could probably just... Something to make a little bit of money. What is, what's going to make us good money? Um, well, let's see. Canola sunflowers soybeans i mean soybeans kind of the obvious one maybe we can just do soybeans in that so we'll do oats um what's worth more barley or uh wrong button again what's worth more barley or wheat let's go wheat okay wheat we can do wheat in the other one i think that'll work for lighter seeds for lighter I think that'll work. Anyways, hope you're all having a great um, great Wednesday. Hope it's going well. Um, hope so far this morning life is treating you well. The weather is kind. You're having a good day. All that good jazz. Shut the cover. We are underway. Oh, crap. I missed the turn. Um, apparently, I don't even know how to get through my own yard here for crying out loud. Um, back up, Agramaz. Back up. I was kind of thinking, too, that... You know, I, I bought this little three-meter cedar thinking, well, oh, we got small fields, and here we are combining them and making them bigger. Um, that probably wasn't the uh, smartest thing in the world. But uh, let's do a headland up here first. We'll get that done, that out of the way. Um, this one also fertilizes, too, so that's a good sign. There is a used backpack sprayer down at the dealership. 1500 bucks is all that it costs. Um, that would be... Uh, that would be kind of right up our alley, too. So if we do it now, we only have to worry about it um, one more time. Let's use a GPS there. Get a nice straight line coming across this headland. That'll work out pretty good. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to fertilize. This is one stage. So all we have to do is worry about it one more time. Um, then next time coming around, you know, we could we could do something to kind of um, help out in that, that regard. Because I know it's going to be very, very expensive. Liming was very, very expensive. We limed all these fields. Man, that was that was spendy. And you know what? I forgot to change it from wheat to oats. Oh, man. I got so excited to go out and be planting here. Um, well, I guess we'll make this one wheat, then the other one oats. That's okay. That's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. Drop that down and go, yeah, it's okay. Wheat and oats. Probably should have had this one. Oh, so I think it's I think it's bigger, isn't it? Did I just look at it? Well, maybe not. Maybe not. No, no. It probably wouldn't matter that much. So I think I think we're okay in that department. That'll be just fine. Let's see. We should probably do. Um, 
We should probably do one more, one more headland, I think. One more pass. One more round, however you want to describe it. I did. I also, I, I'll tell you, I was talking to, um, what am I doing here for crying out loud? I'm just going to drive around in circles all day long. I did uh, talk to the uh, the uh, go-kart guy, uh, the jockey guy. Um, kind of had a little truce, kind of had a little meeting of the minds, and we were discussing, because uh, I, when I saw that he was doing that uh, combining contract, I said, hey, you know, you're kind of right in competition with us, and, you know, we're big boys. We'll, we'll squash you. And uh, so he said, oh, heavens, I don't want that. Um... So he was talking about fluffy sheep or something. I didn't quite understand what he was saying. But anyways, uh, he's decided that he's going to leave the contracting to us. And then he was going to do some um, greenhouse work. Green, he, you know, he has, that, he has that hauling water contract stuff. And then he does some fuel stuff. So he thought, well, then I'll just take care of some greenhouses. And maybe that will compensate me for that. So, I, And I think the possibility of making money off the greenhouses is quite high. You can, you can um, haul in water and uh, manure there so that's kind of exciting stuff that is um a good way to make money i think about uh i think you can make about ten thousand bucks a greenhouse and there are six greenhouses so you have an opportunity to make about sixty thousand bucks um in uh greenhouses per day that's that's quite a lot of money and i was also thinking that we don't have any passive income here on the farm i mean we don't have cell we don't have ugly but ugly cell towers you know, we don't have beehives, we don't have greenhouses, we don't have um, fruit trees. You know, we don't really have any way of making any passive income. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could make $100,000 an hour. But that would kind of defeat the purpose. That would certainly defeat the purpose. Um, so with that said, we got to find a way to make some money because we are going to go broke in a hurry here. If all we have is our um, field work that's going to make us money. Because plus we have to get a few pieces of equipment, and then it's going to take time for all these fields to uh, grow and be harvested. Um, so we got some stuff to think about, and of course we do got some contracting work. I do got a little bit of income from Adrian, so that that helps out a lot. Um, but we'll have to figure that out here down the road as it goes. But yeah, the farm looks good. I'm kind I'm kind of happy with it. Well, actually, I'm very happy with it. I I like the looks of it. I uh, think it is just absolutely outstanding. Whoops, I missed the picture there. Let's see, we'll just keep going. Uh, we'll go down here. I think I'm going to make... Yeah, I might as well just do these like in two little sections here. It's kind of a solid seeded crop, so it doesn't really make much of a difference here. Um, let's see. I probably should go down here. I'm going to go down here, and I'll do a uh, headland on this end. And uh, do the same thing here. And then we'll get that going there. I'm anxious to see how much seed this thing or this field. Um, oh, am I? You know what? It helps if you turn the planter on, the seeder on. That that sometimes helps. I was like, why am I going so darn fast for crying out loud, man? Holy buckets! That was that was cruising right along there planting. Um, I didn't, think the John Deere, <laughs> I didn't think the John Deere would seed that fast. Okay, let's turn it on. And now let's put it down. There we go. Now I can see my thing. Um, there, that's better. That's better. Kind of hard to grow uh, wheat when you don't put the damn seeder down. Or turn it on, I should say. Um, nice little entrance here we made. I kind of like that. And we got one over there in the corner. And then we got... Um, Oh, we have one right here and then one down there farther, I think. So I have been contemplating, and now maybe I'm going to kick myself in the butt making, now that I think about it now, why am I double questioning myself? Because now I think, heck, why don't I make this one big field? But, I, yeah, no, for the first time, we're going we're gonna to go two fields just to get some different crop varieties in here. That I mean, this would be one big wheat field, and the chickens aren't going to need that much wheat. I mean, the straw will come in handy because we can sell the straw. But, um, but yeah, we'll just go with it here. But anyways, I'm gonna, I probably bored you enough. I've been blabbing along. Uh, just planting some wheat here. 
uh, on Mercury Farm the first time. So this is exciting. This is exciting, exciting stuff, I tell you. It doesn't get any more exciting than this. That is for sure. But I'm going to continue on here for a little while. I'll check back with you if something exciting happens. Or if I see, uh, I don't know, a car crash out front here. If I see the uh, go-kart guy drive by. Or if I land the tractor on a hedge or something like that. But um, I'll check back with you here in a little bit. But anyways, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it as I hit the hedge. See there, I hit the hedge. Um, 1,652, Richard, in case you are, uh, are counting. Tell you what, it is an absolute beautiful day here on Mercury Farms, isn't it? Absolute beautiful day. Uh, I tell you what, I was—I went down to the dealership. I actually, I walked across the street for crying out loud, and uh, I was talking to a couple salesmen looking at that combine in there, and uh, I just happened to ask, "Hey, does anybody know anybody in the area that would like to work part time as a farmer?" And they said, "Well, I tell you what, actually, we do know a guy. His name is Tony, and he is kind of a horse guru." And uh, all around kind of a good guy, farmer, knows his machinery. So I called him up. I said, hey, man, come on down. And he said, I'll be right there. So Tony came down, and uh, I said, hey, can you plant some uh, wheat? He says, sure, I can drive that tractor. I can plant that wheat. So that's what he's doing. So I, I feel kind of good. I got, I got a little help here on the farm, which I kind of needed to get going. So there he is in between the trees. Hey there, Tony. Good job, buddy. Good job. Uh, so he's going to do some wheat planting for me there. Here's what I'm going to do. I have got... The Zeal, the Zeal 130, the famous Zeal 130 parked right here. And uh, we're going to head down to Adrian's, and I contacted him, and I said, Hey, buddy, I need um, to buy some wheat or barley. Do you have anything on hand? He said, I certainly do. Go ahead and, and buy some. So we're going to go down there, and we're going to pick up some wheat and or barley. We'll see what, probably barley, because that means we need less expensive. So we're going to pick up some barley. And uh, I think we'll buy some chickens. I think we'll just buy some chickens. Something a little bit different. Something a little bit new. And you never know. Maybe they can produce some eggs for crying out loud. Um, so we'll go down there and uh, see what we got going on. I should pop in there and show you that combine. Ah, we can do that. We can do that when we come back. I should show you that combine. That is an awesome combine. Whoa! Careful truck. What's going on here? Ooh, jeez. I tell you what. This one little spot right here with this truck. It just uh, it does that. Anyways... Look at that. Even the kilometers per hour work. Awesome. So we head down to Adrian's. They have a little, they have some, you know, Adrian, he, he dabbles and everything. He's got stuff in his silos. So we can just pick up a load of, um, a load of um, barley. That'll be okay. We also do have some wood chips, believe it or not, in the silo at the farm there from um, some projects around the yard there from when we put in the chicken coop and stuff. So we can actually load that up and sell that too. So we do have a little bit of income in there. I mean, it's not going to be, it's not, not gigantic money. But it, you know what? It's something. It's something, I tell you. It is absolutely something. As I was driving by here, I was wondering how come they have one apartment that's for sale, all boarded up. Well, one apartment right there. It's all boarded up. All the windows are boarded up, and it's for sale. I should inquire about that. That might not be a bad um, bad investment for me. You know, maybe a rental property of sorts. I kind of I kind of like rental properties. Um, you can make money in rental properties, I think, if the market's good. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, rental properties are like fluffy sheep. They just um, they love to cuddle. That's right. Um, look at this. I tell you what, this um, go kart guy. He is he is improving things. He is improving things a lot. Uh, this truck, are you stalling out, truck? Are you okay? Uh, I worry about you, Zeal 130. Now, what has he got here? What's going on here now? What does this say? Future home of Jockey Inc. <laughs> oh, boy, that's kind of funny. Hey, look at that. He is, he is a golf cart jockey. I thought he was a horse jockey golf cart salesman. You combine the two. But why do you need two signs? You know, the, <laughs> the sign is front to back. Um, I don't know. Oh, I suppose a little green sign in there. He's too cheap to cut down the green sign. He'll just put, <laughs> put in two signs. Oh, that's funny. I like that, though. I got to tell you. Um, 
<laughs> that that is awesome. That is awesome. Future home of Jockey Inc. I I suppose I better get out of here. He's probably all excited about his signs. Um, wonder what he's doing. Spreading fertilizer, maybe? I don't know. Um, awesome. Future home of Jockey Inc. Uh, it must have had a two-for-one sign deal. I don't know. Um, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Pull into Adrian's. Got that out of my system. I think the gate shut because there's not much going on here today. I checked with... Oh, no, the gate's open. I wonder who was down here. I could have swore the gate was shut. Um, oh, well. Maybe that... Uh, that golf cart guy is over here. I hope not. Oh, well, the, the door is open here. Oh, there must be some activity going on here. I should have. I talked to him, and I, he didn't. He didn't say that there was anything really going on. Um, so that's okay. We'll just pull up in here and get underneath the spout. Let's see. We want um, barley. We want barley. We'll buy some barley. How much is barley going to cost us? Uh, holy buckets! Twenty-two thousand three hundred and seventy-eight bucks for 7,600 liters of barley. That was a little more expensive than I, than I was expecting. Hey there, Lons. 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 Is his name Lons? I can never remember the guy's name. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we got 7,600 liters of barley. I suppose we, we have to go... Hey, look at that! Look at that! Oh, a moving shifter! I never saw that the first time. Well, I tell you what, Zeal 130, you not only have the fanciest steering wheel wrap there is, but you also got a moving shifter. You got to love that. I mean, take that there, golf cart jockey. I got a moving shifter in my truck. Um, awesome. Does it just move once or does it move more? Oh, apparently, it's just forward and backwards. Uh, forward and reverse. Okay, we have to go to the store anyways because I need to pick up a water container. Some sort of a water transport mechanism because we have to get water to the uh, chickens. Eh, that was like a guy I knew one time. Well, I, I suppose I still know him too. It's not just one time. I it looks like a guy I knew. Whoa! Shift, shift there, buddy. Um, don't don't be sputtering out here on the highway, Zeal 130. We got a load of um, barley for crying out loud. Get to the chickens. They must have repaired that hole in the fence. I don't see it anymore. Um, nah, I don't know anything about it anyways. I don't know anything about a hole in the fence. Anyways, I think Tony is going to be an op awfully, awfully dependable good worker. Um, look at that. Look at him go. He is uh, going to town. He'll have that uh, field plan with wheat in no problem. And plus, he's a horse guru. So when it comes time to get horses, I mean, he'll be right on He'll be right on that. He will be right on that. Okie dokie then. Anyways, let's get a water container, and I'm going to show you this combine, and, and let me know what you think. I think I'm going to buy this puppy. I think I need to buy it. I think it's a given now. Uh, have to. I mean, it's, I have to. I have to. It's perfect for our operation. We'll just park right in here. Turn this off. Yep. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this fine, outstanding. I guess I, I, when, I get, when I see a combine of this stature, I get so excited I run faster. Um, turbo. 8820 John Deere Turbo 8820 look at that that is exactly what we need on the Holy Buckets farm awesome awesome yep Dexter anyways so yeah I think we need to, I need to make we need to look into getting that combine okie dokie then let's look at a um, a water transport mechanism here's what we got um, we can go for this puppy 7600 bucks and basically you're paying um, one buck per liter there, pretty much. 7,500 liter capacity for 7,600 bucks. We got that option. Um, we do have the ICB tanks. Um, that might not be a bad way to go for the chickens. But then, you know, we'd have to have the front loader on there, which we could manage. So we could do that. That'll carry water, too. Or we could do the... Um, the Joskin Aquatrans, which is actually more for less, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense when you think about it. And we have this one, 25000 so I think it's a no-brainer. I think it's an absolute no-brainer that uh, price-wise and capacity-wise, we just go for this one here. Um, look at that. We can customize it right on their special app. Um, you know what I'm thinking? We should have a color. We should have a color. 
Um, light blue? Light blue ain't bad. I mean, water, blue. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, there's dark. Ooh, dark blue's kind of nice. I think we'll go with dark blue. Let's see. Should we go? No, we don't want a slurry spreader. Um, Nokia. No, we don't need Nokia tires. Um, design, white or black? White kind of stands out there. We'll go with that. We'll buy that. Oh, that's even more money. Why am I paying more money now? The color? It costs you money for the color? For crying out loud, you see that? Well, stainless steel. We're just going to go with stainless I'm not going to pay extra money for the color. Um, nope. We'll just get that there. Got that ordered on their app. They'll have that out front for us. Um, man, I, I love this thing. I, I do. And they actually, they have a uh, header and a trailer all ready for it right there. Um, yeah. Yeah. We got we to get some money, man. We need to get some money. Okay. Let's see. There's our trailer. We're all ready to go. Okay. Let's get into the uh, number 2644. The Zeal 130. You started, right? Shift. into. There we go. It must just be a high-low thing. High-low reverse. I don't know. Let me get it hooked up to our water trailer. And then, you know what we could do? We could go right down. We can either go to our pond or we could go to our well. I don't know. Which one do you think? You know, we could try to drive down to the pond. We could take the back way through the pond there and check that out. So basically, now we're down to 3000 bucks. So we are going to be broke. We're going to be broke. I wonder I wonder if we should haul a load of manure. I wonder if we should. Just do that. Um, maybe do that before uh, Golf Cart Jockey finds out. And then um, do a load of manure. I suppose we could do that. There's nothing planted in here, so we can drive in here. Man, this looks nice, doesn't it? Have a little lake. We got a private little lake. I had a lake one time on a place I was at called Felsburn. I had my own little lake, and I did I did a lot of swimming down at my lake. Um, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay, I'm not going to do that from inside. Might be too much of a slope here. Don't get stuck, Zeal. Don't go flying in the lake, Zeal. Whoa, stop, Zeal. Oh, see the tires there start sliding? Whoa, stop. Yeah, we're not filling. Come on, Zeal. Why are we not filling? Are we not deep enough? Huh? It's not filling out of there. Well, I don't think we got deep enough in there. I don't think our pond is deep enough. But we'll come back up here. We'll go to our well. We'll fill up there, and then we'll drop. The, uh, we'll head to the chickens. Now the chickens is going to be a little bit tricky because of the uh, narrow um, area that we have. So I don't know. Well, this, the zeal might be able to get in there and back around. I think the zeal probably could. Um, yeah, yeah, I do. I do think so. Question is, how close do I have to be there with this water tank? Oh, don't fall off the cliff, Zeal. Man, I think I probably put the uh, the well into the wrong. I had them digging the wrong spot. But uh, this will work. This will work. The Zeal. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Zeal. Zeal, why are you not feeling? Huh? Why are you not feeling water tank? Oh, you know what? Did I hit it by accident? Did I? No. I didn't hit it by accident. I was thinking, did I get the slurry one? <laughs> did I get the slurry one by accident? Why is it not feeling? You know, I wonder if there's something with this truck. Because I couldn't um, empty the other... I wonder if there's something with the hitch in this truck. Because I couldn't emp I empty the other trailer. Um... I don't know. We'll um, see what we do. We'll pull into here. We'll empty into the barley into the chickens, and then we'll get the tractor, and we will go in. Um, oh, go! Oh, don't take out the fence. That'd be bad. That would be bad. Then we'll buy ourselves some chickens, and then um, and then I'll get the tractor out, and we'll try the tractor. And uh, let's see. Learn how to drive here. Back into the feed trough here. Okay, actually, what I'm going to do first is let's buy some chickens first. Um, how many chickens can we afford to buy? Chickens are another expensive. Chickens are 50 bucks. So let's buy... Um, 
Well, let's see. There's a thousand bucks. Should we get a couple roosters? Should we go fifteen hundred? There. Okay. There's some chickens. Ooh. Hey, there you go, chickens. Oh, I love to have chickens. Those are that's actually chicken, not bacon. If anybody's if anybody's wondering. Um. Oh, they didn't take much of that at all. Okay, okay then. So there's the uh, the wheat in there. Now we'll drop this off in our silo, and here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to unload it into the silo, and then I'm going to fill this up with wood chips. And then I'm going to grab the trailer, and I'm going to fill that up with wood chips. And then we'll head down, and we'll sell a load of we'll sell a load of wood chips, and then maybe we can get some more chickens. I think I think that's a good good plan because right now we're down to 1997. What a year 1997 was! Oh, 96, 95. 95, hey, I graduated high school in 1995. Um, brilliant year. Absolutely brilliant year. Surprised I even graduated, to be honest with you. No comments needed, Richard. Um, hey, I wasn't that bad of a student. Nope. Not that bad. It just took me a few years to figure things out. That's all. But that, but everybody's that way, right? I wasn't the only one. I'm sure this go-kart uh, horse guy... Jockey, uh, he, uh, I'm sure it took him a couple years to figure it out. It probably even took him longer, to be honest with you. Wait, what am I doing? This ain't the, this ain't the downspout. I gotta go around this way. Man, I'm going to be losing it. All excited about chicken. The only thing that makes me more excited about that, about chicken, than is bacon. There we go. Hey, look at that. Uh, wood chips, wood chips, wood chips, wood chip. There we go. We got a lot of wood chips. 7,575,000 um, liters of wood chips. Don't run into the bushes there, Zeal. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on here with that. With the... Uh, oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm stuck. What I guess? Stuck on. Ah, the Zeal can handle it. So, let's just park that here for a second. Let's hop into the... Um, the international here and let's go get that water container and let's see if this thing will fill it because something's something screwy something's going on here i don't like it that thing should be filling It's not filling. It is not filling. Why are you not filling? Absolutely crazy. I can't figure it out. Oh. <sighs> things that make you go. You know, I knew that too. I, I knew that you had to open the cover on these things. Um, I'm just not used to it from the other, from the, uh, the Joskin Aquatrans. You never had to open the damn cover. Here you gotta open the cover. So anyways, um, that's okay. All right, we'll go drop this off. Oh, state, hey, slow down there, International. So excited, so excited. Um, wait a minute, chickens don't need water. <sighs> this is my first day playing FS19, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mercury Farms. I am Farmer Min. Glad you could join us today. How are you today? Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, this is a tractor. It's called the called the International Tractor. It's got a loader on it. tractor down the road nice anyways okay we've got the wood chips sold made a, this is a little extra spending cash there beer money but adrian gave me a heads up 
an opportunity. So we're going to head down to the animal market and uh, provide a transport to them. The Zeal 130 is up for it, and the uh, Force Fit trailer is up for it. What we can do is we can unload or load. Hey, I know that guy. Um, we can load up their manure produced from the livestock market, and we can haul it down to the greenhouses, and we can make a little extra cash. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's a transport fee that we're getting. But let's give this a shot and see how it uh, how much how beneficial it is to us. So I'm kind of excited to see this. Um, we'll just head down to the market past Adrian's here, and uh, past the. Uh, the guy with two signs. He's he's pretty he's being productive though. I'm telling you what, he is growing. He is um, growing like a flock of hippopotamuses. Is that how you say Hipp hippos? I'll just say hippos. Hippopotamus. Hippopop. Anyways, let's just pull into here. Um, we can fill it up right there. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky with this trailer. Um, getting it into position. Eighteen thousand three hundred and fifty is still kind of an odd number. Um of manure. Let's head down to the greenhouse and uh we will give this to them, and then we paid a small transport fee. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see what it'll end up being. It might be actually beneficial for us, but it's something I can't do every day. But um, hey, a little bit extra helps. More chickens. Hey, that guy bought a planter. He bought a cedar. I'm very jealous of the zeal. Surprised you didn't go there and buy a zeal. Try to be like me. I wonder if we can teach our chickens to be racing chickens. I don't know if I want hmm, the full house burger, ribeye steak, is it basket, baguette? Hmm, best burger van. Well, I'm kind of maybe going for, um, hey, look at that. You can join us on uh, Facebook at facebook.com, Twitter at, or Twitter at facebook.com. Um, I could go for an ice cream, too. Let's see. Cold can. Uh, mm, mm. I don't know. Maybe just a... Hey! TJ, how you doing, buddy? Oh, good to see you. Good to see you, Nat. Um, yeah. Full house. I think I'll go with a full house burger with bacon. Full house burger with double bacon. That's what I want. That's what I want. Hey, DJ, how's it going? Those nice shorts you got there, buddy. Nice shirt, too. I like that. Yellow. Yellow looks good on you, my man. Yellow looks good on you. Ah, tasty burger. So after that, let's just try this. Let's just uh, get rid of this here. Then we got to get back. We'll check on Tony. I bet you he's doing just fine, though. I bet you he is uh, doing just fine. See, it could go there, but I think greenhouses would be more uh, more up our alley. Uh, kind of makes sense. Let's, do, let's just choose this one here. Now, the question is, how am I going to get this? This <laughs> back one, this trailer into there. Okay. It's worth the trip. It's worth a trip. Now, if you had a big-time truck and trailer, yeah, you could really go to town. And uh, maybe once in a while we'll have to do this just to explore the differences in the greenhouses. Um, you know what I mean? To uh, see if they pay the same or if they pay different. So I think I did happen to see one time a great demand for manure at the greenhouses. So we'll have to check into that, and then we'll have to check into that pile, too, to see which one kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, let's get back to the farm. Let's check on Tony and uh, go from there. Let's just see how Tony is doing. That fine and outstanding worker guy. Uh, oh, he's just wrapping up that little corner piece. Nice! Looking good. Looking good, boy. 
That is a sharp looking farm there. Holy Buckets Farm is up and running, man. I'm telling you, up and running. So this is all ready to go then. We can, yeah, let's just leave it right here. Um, that's all ready to go for either Tony or I. Um, everything else is kind of set around the yard here. Let's just walk down here, or run apparently, uh, down here to the chickens. And uh, I don't know how many chickens we can keep into this, uh, this fancy uh, pen here. But, uh, you know, I wish they told you how many you have, because you really have no idea without counting them. One, two, three, four, five, I mean, so on and so forth. I mean, I have no idea how many chickens I have. Um, whoops, I suppose, whoops. Two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that's 50. So that would be 50, 50 chickens with some roosters in there. How many roosters we got? There's one, two, uh, I think we have like, what, four, five, six roosters? Hello, chickens. How are you? Let's see. Whoops, wrong button. I keep doing that. Uh, there you go. Oh, look at that, chickens. Um, hundred percent productive. Oh, there it tells us we have. It's one of those days. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's. <laughs> I actually sat here and counted all those damn chickens. I don't know. But anyway, I'll tell you what we're gonna do for this fine and outstanding uh, Wednesday. Um, we'll leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And t t t tell you what, if you did, drop us a like. We would sincerely appreciate that. That actually means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hey, consider doing that as well. Glad you're here. Glad to have you with. Um, absolutely wonderful being here on Murky Farm. I always say this, but once again, Alien Jim, you are the man. Thank you very much. I think Alien Jim is Oscar worthy. That's that's just what I'm saying. And, of course, oh, heavens forbid, um, go kart jockey. The car golf cart salesman down the road there. Um, please make sure you go check out him as well because he is recording at the same time I am. So um, you can also go watch from his perspective. His description, uh, his description, <laughs> his channel is in the description in this video. So please uh, click on that, go over there, watch his video, make sure you subscribe and um, do that as well. But, anyways, Tony's going to finish up. We'll start on, I, I, you know what I think? I think probably we'll have, um, I think, we'll, oh, well, yeah, today. Yeah, let's see, what is what time is it? Uh, yeah, let's see. I think um, we'll, we're, we're going to finish off the planting here yet today. So next time we come back, all the planting will be done. And then we can go on from there to uh, bigger and better things. But anyways, have yourself a great Wednesday. Enjoy it. Be safe, be kind, and keep them between the ditches. So long.